Open heavens on the go. Friday, September 22nd, 2023. Topic, resist the devil. Memory verse, James 4, 7. Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Bible reading, Acts 13, 6 to 12. And when they had gone through the isle unto Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew, whose name was Bar Jesus, which was with the deputy of the country, Sergius Paulus, a prudent man, who called for Barnabas and Saul, and desired to hear the word of God. But Elimas the sorcerer, for so is his name by interpretation, we stood them, seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. Then Saul, who also is called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on him and said, O fool of all subtlety and all mischief, thou child of the devil, thou enemy of all righteousness, wilt thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? And now, behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. And immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness, and he went about seeking some to lead him by the hand. Then the deputy, when he saw what was done, believed, being astonished at the doctrine of the Lord. The message. In John 14, 12, Jesus Christ said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. In Mark 4, 35-41, when a storm arose on the sea, while Jesus was sleeping in the boat, the first thing he did was to rebuke the wind. The passage above therefore means that you will do even greater rebuking of storms. Our Lord Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God, but he is also the Lion of Judah. It is true that you should be as gentle as a dove, but not when dealing with a snake. He was gentle. But when he got into the temple and saw what should not be there, he overturned tables and drove out the traders. That certainly wasn't gentle. You also are the temple of the Most High God. When you see someone trying to hinder you from fulfilling your purpose, you must not handle him gently. You must rebuke them. Isaiah 54, 17 says, it is your heritage for any tongue raised against you to be condemned. In other words, it is your heritage to rebuke anything trying to hinder your destiny. You cannot be gentle with them. You must rebuke them so that they don't destroy you. Many years ago, a son of mine was living in a building where a witch doctor also lived. The man often complained that my son's prayers were disturbing him. So I told him to cast the witch doctor out, but he said, no, daddy, we are both tenants in the same building. We can live with each other. I said, okay. The next time I saw my son, he looked very unhealthy. He said the witch doctor got some of his customers who were police officers to arrest him because his prayers were disturbing him. The police locked him up for days and the mosquitoes in the cell dealt with him. I then asked him, are you now ready to send that wicked fellow out? He agreed. We prayed and the man moved out of the house. Will you let the devil hinder your destiny? Prayer point. Father, paralyze every agent of darkness that tries to hinder me from fulfilling my purpose now 
in Jesus' name. Father, paralyze every agent of darkness that tries to hinder me from fulfilling my purpose now in Jesus' name. Bible reading in one year, Micah 1 to 4. Him for today, standing on the promises of Christ my King. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.